So in this question, we're given some data on both the number of shoplifting incidents and the number of security guards employed in a particular establishment for seven days of a week. The very first thing we're asked to do is to find the PMCC. This we can do on our calculators and the PMCC is the R value from your regression summary screen. And from there we get negative 0.9316. So this is very strong negative correlation. In part B of the question, we're asked to conduct a hypothesis test at the 1% significance level, but we're asked to check whether there's evidence of correlation in the data. It doesn't specify whether we're looking for positive correlation or negative correlation, so we're going to conduct a two-tailed test. So we're looking for the null hypothesis to be rho equals zero and the alternate rho is not equal to zero. From there, we get n equals seven. There were seven days of data that we collected and the significance level is going to be divided by two because of the two-tailed test. So 0 0.01 divided by two, we're looking for 0 0.005 as our level of significance or the probability we look up for the critical value. So critical value, we'll look at the tables and we're cross-referencing seven with 0 0.05. And the critical value there is 0 0.8745. We're going to look at both the positive and the negative for this. And I'm going to mark them both on the spectrum of correlation coefficients, which generates two shaded regions. If our calculated PMCC falls within these shaded regions, then we have a significant result. That means that our calculated correlation was stronger than the critical value correlation. So let's place this on the number line. Our correlation does fall into the critical region. We have a significant result. It was stronger correlation than that critical value of negative 0 0.8745. So let's just formalize this and make sure we write this statement. So our calculated correlation is less than the critical value and it's very important that you write this statement especially with the negative correlation coefficient the examiner will not allow you to compare this to a positive value you have to have used the negative critical value okay and then we'll just formalize this and as usual we'll come with our two conclusions one mathematical that we have enough evidence to reject h0 and one in context that we have enough evidence that there is correlation between the number of shoplifting incidents and the number of security guards. So I haven't specified myself whether it's positive or negative because the hypotheses didn't specify either. Part C of the question asks us to comment on the statement, increasing the number of security guards will result in a decrease in the number of shoplifting incidents. So, we did have negative correlation, but as we know, correlation does not always mean causation. There may have been a third factor which is actually making the shoplifting incidents reduce. So we can't for sure say that this is what's going to happen. In my comment, we'll ask for a brief comment. I've said correlation does not mean causation. There may be a third factor connecting these. Therefore, the statement is not necessarily true. 